sote tunafahamu kwamba katika taifa la Afrika na hata dunia yani kwa jumla wake ambayo imeweza kuhifadhi zaidi ya asilimia 32 ya eneo lake kwa shughuli mbalimbali za uhifadhi na hiyo peke yake pia ni mixer ni proposition wenzetu wana maeneo madogo sana ama wana product moja wengine wana kutaka wana gorilla ambaye ndio maarufu sana kwenye nchi yao sisi tunaweza kukataa uh, that potential kuwaleta watalii hapa kwetu wakaona vituo vingi na vikubwa zaidi kuliko ambao viko katika hizi nchi nyingine kwa hivyo tuliona hizi zote hizi ni lazima uh, tusitengenezee kakati na ususi kwa kuziuza yetu hii teule ambao wajumbe nafarijika kuona bari yao wako hapa uh, ili fanya utafiti ambapo watu zaidi ya sita toka nyanja mbalimbali walipojiwa na hatimaye kuweza uh, kupata utambulisho mpya kwa upana wake lakini pia kuanza kujenga mazingira ya kupelekea kwenye uzinduzi rasmi ambao utafanywa na mheshimiwa rais ambaye tayari tumekwisha muomba na amekubali kuja kuzindua rasmi ambapo tutafanya sherehe kubwa zaidi lakini pia tutawatambua wajumbe ambao wametuwezesha kupata kauli uh, hii uh, bila gharama yoyote ile kwa kujitoa Uh, kwa ajili ya uzalendo na nchi yetu. Pamoja na kufikia kwa hii muhimu natambua kuwa bado kuna kazi kubwa mbele yetu uh, kabla utambulisho huu haujazinduliwa rasmi. Uh, kwa sasa kamati yetu inaandaa mwongozo uh, wa namna ya kutumia uh, uh, kauli hii hi. na tayari nafikiri mtakuwa mnaona kuna baadhi ya nakala nazunguka huko hizi katika hatua ya awali ya kuwashirikisha na tutapenda wadau wote kwenye sekta ya utalii watumie mwongozo huo kuitangaza nchi yetu tutapenda wadau wa sekta ya utalii kwa pamoja tuungane tushirikiane kwa pamoja tuweze kuisukuma mbele uh, kauli hiyo hii tuweze kusukuma mbele agenda ambayo inakuja na mtazamo wa serikali ya awamu ya tano ya kufungua nchi yetu lakini pia kuitangaza kwa staili tofauti na na ndio maana tumeona ni vema mahususi kabisa kuwashirikisha moja kwa moja. Ndugu wadau, ni muhimu wananchi wenzetu wote wakafahamu kuwa kazi ya kutangaza utalii ni wajibu kwa kila mmoja wetu. Wizara kwa kupitia bodi ya utalii tuna jukumu la kuweka mikakati ya jumla ya kutangaza utalii na kutoa fursa kwa kila mtanzania ya kukuza na kutangaza utalii wetu wa ndani na nje ya nchi. Ni kwa mtazamo huo hivi karibuni nitawateua watu kadhaa kuwa mabalozi wa hiari wa utambulisho huu mpya. Kwa kiasi kikubwa watakuwa ni watu mashuhuri ili waweze kutusaidia kusukuma mbele kauli hii lakini pia pamoja na vivutio vingine vya utalii vilivyopo hapa nchini. Uh, na jambo la pili ambalo napenda nitolee taarifa leo ni uandaaji wa tamasha la urithi. Kama nilivyosema hapo awali, wizara yetu inaandaa tamasha la mwezi mzima ili kuenzi utamaduni na urithi wa mtanzania. Tamasha hili limepewa kauli mbiu ya urithi festival celebrating our heritage. Dhumuni kubwa la tamasha hili ni kuenzi na kunadi kiutalii hazina kubwa ya utamaduni mila na desturi za makabila yote nchini ambayo yanakadiriwa kufika 128 hatua hii inaenda sambamba na juhudi za serikali za kuongeza wigo wa mazao ya utalii nchini hususan kukuza matumizi endelevu ya maikale kutangaza utamaduni vyakula vya asili mavazi ya asili michezo ya jadi na kazi za sanaa mbalimbali. <coughs> Aidha tamasha hili litasaidia kukuza utalii wa ndani na kuongeza wastani wa watalii wa kimataifa kukaa hapa nchini. Hatua ambayo tunaamini italeta matokeo chanya kwenye mapato ya tukanayo na sekta ya utalii na malikani. 
kama nilivyosema pale mwanzo kila siku tumekuwa tukizungumzia utalii ambao kwa zaidi ya asilimia 80 kuna unajikita zaidi kwenye utalii unaotokana na wanyamapori kwa hivyo tumefikiria na kuona kwamba Tanzania ni zaidi ya utalii unaotokana na wanyamapori tunaweza tuka develop uh, products nyingine za utalii na zikawa equally important na kama hii ya wanyamapori lakini pia ika complement jitihada za kukuza utalii kupitia wanyamapori na malengo yetu hapa kimkakati ni kuongeza idadi ya siku ambazo watalii wanakaa hapa nchini lakini pia kuhakikisha tunaongeza mapato yanayotokana na sekta hii lakini pia kuhakikisha wananchi kwa upana wake wanashiriki kwenye uchumi pana wa utalii kwa kufanya shughuli mbalimbali ambazo zitaendana na, na, na sekta hii ya utalii hususan katika eneo hili la heritage sababu watauza vyakula watauza mavazi watashiriki kucheza mziki, wasanii wanafanya performances mbalimbali kundi vya ngoma vitashiriki tafanya performances mbalimbali lakini pia sisi kama wadau tutakuwa tuna wajibu uh, uh, kwa kweli kutangaza tamasha hili uh, na, na, na tutatengeneza ratiba maalum ambayo mtaifahamu na mtaweza kuwashirikisha kwenye itinerary zao watalii wanaokuja nchini kwamba wanaweza wakaconsider kushiriki kwenye Olympic Festival kwa namna moja ama nyingine waweza wakajioni wakarudi wakaenda kushiriki kwenye tamasha usiku wa mchana kwa hivyo ikatusaidia sana uh, kwa kweli kuongeza mapato lakini pia kuongeza experience ambayo watalii wanaipata wanapokuja nchini wetu. Uh, ndugu mgeni walikwa kikubwa kilichosukuma wizara yetu kuandaa tamasha hili ni, ni utajiri mkubwa ulivyo utamaduni ambao Tanzania imebarikiwa nao kama nilivyosema. Na tamasha litaadhimishwa jiji la Mwanza lakini pia kutakuwa kuna wiki ya kilele cha mwezi wa ulifu wa Tanzania ambacho amba, amba, ambao utafanyikia hapa jijini Arusha na wiki hiyo tunatarajia mheshimiwa makamu rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania mama Samia Suluh Hassan atakuwa mjadaji kwenye siku ya kilele ya kujenga uh, uh, tamasha hilo kwa hivyo kutakuwa kuna performances mbalimbali na kutakuwa kuna matukio mbalimbali kutakuwa kuna mabanda lakini pia tutaweka vituo kwenye maeneo mbalimbali ambapo ni njia za watalii kupita ili watalii yeye uh, mnaweza kuwapitisha huko wakaenda wakaenjoy kidogo shughuli mbalimbali zinazohusiana na tamasha lenyewe kabla hawajaendelea na safari zao kwa hivyo tunataka wapate experience ya tofauti na hii itakuwa ni mwanzo wa brand hii product mpya ya utalii ambayo tumeanzisha <coughs> na baada ya kusema hayo bila kuteza wakati zaidi ni wakaribishe sana kushiriki kwenye matamasha hayo lakini pia niwashukuru ni sana kwa kunisikiliza na Mungu awabariki sana
wanafanya presentations maana hizi mbili ni kwa nilabraki ni kwa tujue sasa mtakaji ni ndani eh kwanza kwanza mpaka kwa hiyo nikia kwa hiyo tutawapa dakika 15 kila baada ya uweze kutoonyesha hapa kwenye ubao eh mpaka tukapokea kwanza baada kwanza ya utambulisho wa taifa utali alafu utambulisho wa kula kwenda ku wasilisha mada ya pili baada kwanza itawasilisha na polisi Uh, so, <laughs>
kwa hii tuliamua kubadilisha utambulisho wetu tuliona kwamba utambulisho ambao unatumika hau hauelezei vivutio vingine vya utalii ambao Tanzania tunavyo tunaamini kwamba Tanzania sio tu mlima Kilimanjaro kisiwa cha Zanzibar na mbuga zetu za Serengeti tuna vivutio vingi zaidi hivyo ilibidi tutafute utambulisho ambao ni wakilishi wa utalii kwa ujumla wetu kwake Mtakumbuka mwaka jana uh, waziri wetu wa Wanasiasa na Utalii Mheshimiwa Dr. Habisi Kigwangala aliteua kamati ya kuandaa utambulisho mpya wa Tanzania. Kamati hiyo ilikuwa na wajumbe moja kutoka bara na visiwani lakini pia wajumbe walikuwa natoka kutoka sekta binafsi na ya umma. Ili kuja na na na, na utambulisho mpya kuna utafiti ambao ulifanywa na kamati utambulisho Ukam, uh, huo uli ulitumia um, question yake ambayo tulitotoa katika maeneo mbalimbali uh, kwenye malango kuu ya ya hifadhi za kanapa na ngorongoro uh, kwenye viwanja vya kiwanja cha ndege cha Julia Nyerere lakini pia kwenye vituo vyetu vya habari vya bodi ya utalii pamoja na uh, question yake ambayo tuliweka kwenye mitandao ya kijamii zaidi ya watu 651 walishiriki kwenye utafiti huo. Utafiti huo ulihusisha watu kutoka mataifa 54 na ulifanywa katika kipindi cha siku saba. Na tuliweza kuona baada ya kufanya utafiti, kufanya upembuzi, tuliona kwamba kuna maneno ambayo yalikuwa yanajirudia. Maneno ambayo yalikuwa yanajirudia ni pamoja na the wild life, wild wildness, unforgettable experience friendly people the beauty culture adventure scenery and environment safari na nature kwenye utafiti wetu tuliona kwamba watu wengi zaidi walikuwa na associate Tanzania na kueleza kutiwa na watu na makabila ya Tanzania ikifatiwa na nature na environment na hali kadhalika walio shiriki kwenye utafiti wetu 60% walikuwa ni wanaume lakini 40% walikuwa na wanawake na umri ambao wengi walijibu walitolewa majibu kwenye utafiti wetu walikuwa na umri kati ya miaka 26 na 45 baada ya kufanya upepuzi au uh, maneno ambayo yalikuwa yanajirudia sana kwenye kwenye questionnaire yaliyo dibi majibu yaliyo yaliyo patikana Uh, kuliko kuna, kuna maneno tisa ambayo yalikuwa yanajitokeza nayo ni friendly faces beautiful people go wild authentic africa naturally inviting an african dream and beyond extraordinary experience home of unforgettable experiences great experience fascinating places katika haya haya slogans tisa tuliamua kupunguza na tukabakia na slogans sita experience an extraordinary experience baada sasa ya kuangalia hizo kaulimbiu sita tulikuja na mwezo huu ifanye mezikatiwa Tanzania is a new country and for a long time we spent a lot of money on marketing Tanzania but unfortunately you find that um, the the private sector and the public sector and even the private sector everyone is just using their own means to try and advertise there's no alignment and therefore what we try to do is try to identify ways in which we can align our communications so that they're most effective because what happens is that if i'm saying uh tanzania is beautiful somebody else is saying tanzania is wild or somebody else is saying tanzania is unforgettable so what we did is We established that what we need to do we need to come up with a brand key. And a brand key is a framework. And more importantly, it's a that enables us to come with a common voice. And what that common voice does, it helps us to speak with the same language from the same ancient. Hence why the honorable minister has very committed this course and has called you all here today because he understands that we cannot go forward unless you the stakeholders are committed to this what we're doing whatever we do whatever we do if you're not on board with it then we're not going anywhere 
So, what we said is that this framework will, will, will help us form our strategic direction. It's really direction as into how our values, who we are as Tanzania, uh, what, 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 what is important to us, and more, and more most importantly, is our personality and our promise to our customers. And what we want to do is promise our customers when they come to Tanzania, they're going to have an unforgettable experience. What the, what the task force has done, we're trying to develop a brand key, and um, if you receive this copy, it's not comprehensive, we've summarized it for the purpose of uh, this event. However, we will be producing uh, a, a manual that is more than 100 pages. And what we hope to do with that is hope to share with you all and make sure that everybody communicates with the same voice. So we're going backwards. Apologies. So what we've done is we've come up with uh, 10 key experiences that we believe uh, all tourists coming to Tanzania would, 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 be, would make the experience unforgettable. Because coming to Tanzania, we want to make it all about an experience. So experience number one is Zanzibar. The sun, sea, and the sand. So I don't want to go into detail because I think for the interest of time. Um, experience number two is wildlife. Serengeti migration is unsurpassed, unmatched anywhere in the world. Mountain climbing, Mount Kilimanjaro experience is certainly unforgettable. Um, so the Maasai, uh, the, we've been criticized a lot and people say that they don't want to see the grass selling Tanzania using Maasai and wildlife. But what we feel is that uh, the, our neighbors that mention any names have actually tried to own the Maasai. So we feel that it is important for us to own the Maasai because the Maasai is from Tanzania and we want to own them and we want to create the wheel. We have a lot of other tribes that we could communicate, but we just want to build up on what is already built up. Tanzania has a very rich heritage, which we think we should take advantage of. The pictures you see there are pictures of the Wahadzabe, who are um, in, in, in this, uh, the northern zone. We think Tanzania has a fantastic nature. Our food and wine is incredible. Uh, our path is unsurpassed. We also think that our cultural diversity of over 120 tribes gives the tourists an opportunity to meet a diversified number of uh, cultures. So what we say is we're developing some key messages which we feel we can share with everybody so that we speak from the same game sheet again. So our personality is that Tanzania are down to earth people, very polite. Tanzania are very welcoming. Tanzania are irreverent and they're very high spirited. And this is all the things that we got from the research that we conducted. What we thought as well, to be effective, we must have a logo that when someone sees the communication says, this is Tanzania. And we come up with this logo. And what we did is we came up with the logo what it shows, um, this here is a road, a road to unforgettable experiences. This here is the nature, the yellow. Igi Aljano, Nanisha Madinia Tanzania, Nai Yeusi, Nanisha Watu, Tanzania, the people of Tanzania. So what we've done is that we've come up with guides that everybody, everywhere where this is put, yeah, in terms of the font size, the font type, and even the, even the positioning of this on the communication is standardized. Our brand typeface as well is very specified. The type and the size is very well laid out, and this will be communicated in the brand manual. These are samples of the brand communication that we expect. So like I said before, the 
The way we work is that the unforgettable will be exactly the same position in this kind of um, with this, this kind of billboard, uh, which is um, which is the size. You see, you see the, the logo of Tanzania will be always positioned there, and the unforgettable will always be here. So what this does is that without even looking at the picture, if you see this logo here and the position of unforgettable, you know exactly this is Tanzania. That's another sample billboard. This is communicate communication. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said before, a brand key is our promise to our customer. Uh, the Honorable Minister, uh, our, 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 his, his Excellency, the President of Tanzania, have all shown commitment on taking this forward. But however, this could, no matter what we do, this could not be achieved without you, the stakeholders. So I urge you to come on board with us. Uh, the work is not complete. We will to take any comments from you. And uh, please help us fulfill our promise to our customers. Sante Sana. Sante Sana Panabu, by Mwenikiti wa Sekretariati Akamatiku kwa taifa ya mandalizi ya uh, utambulisho wa taifa uh, na shukuru kwa presentation na shukuru bi uh, the water batchi ambaye ni kugeza mwenye shati tibi uh, kwa presentation as well uh, kama tu mwona ni uh, mamu mengi eh, mwishmo zia sema imefanya kisayansi sayansi yaki nyo hii na bati zuri uh, imeandaliwa mwongozo mwongozo wa jinsi wa kutumia uh, hii brand mpia eh, kwa hiyo mwongozo huu kikabulika utakuwa uh, utagawiwa kwa ndao kujia kutumia nashukuru sana uh, I really admire the way he's catching up very very good with this festival celebrating our heritage as the honorable minister said this country is endowed with the rich and diversified cultural heritage. Tanzania has both uh, archaeological, paleontological, and a historical cultural heritage, but it also is rich in the culture. Tanzania, as the minister said, has all the four ethnic language family groups in this continent. And Arusha contains all the ethnic groups, language families. Arusha is a melting pot. But uh, unfortunately, the cultural heritage asset of Tanzania has not very much been promoted and also developed for cultural, uh, for tourism. And Realizing this, the Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism, and, and actually, uh, I should say that this is uh, with the festival celebrating our heritage, is Dr. Figuangala's baby. Many people may have conceived the idea, uh, but uh, he conceived it very quickly when he came to the ministry, maybe in a one month or two, then the idea was born. And he formed a committee uh, in Germany. And this committee now is continuing to work on it. Now I'll change it to the story. Kama ni nivyo sema awali kwamba ni ni wazo la mheshimiwa wa Kibwangala la kuwa na urithi wa utamaduni na mwezi wa utamaduni kwa Tanzania na kama ni nivyo sema nchi hii ina urithi mwingi wa utamaduni na wasi lakini wa utamaduni bado hujaendelezwa sana na kuwa promoted kwa ajili ya utalii na wizara imegundua hilo na tukiangalia nchi kama Egypt na nchi nyingine uh, Egypt Misri inaingiza kipato kikubwa cha fedha lakini utalii wake ni wa ujenzi wa utamaduni 
wizara kwa kugundua hilo na waziri alipokuja akaanzisha hili wazo la kuwa na uh, mwezi wa utamaduni mwezi wa urithi na akatengeneza komiti na komiti tukakubaliana mwezi Septemba iwe mwezi wa urithi na tuka wana michakato mirefu tukatengeneza logo na zaidi ya watanzania vijana hasa karibu 200 takriban 200 ili tangazo na ile portangazwa uh, basi tuka tukachagua hii logo ambayo mnaiona uh, utakuta kuna uh, watu uh, kama umeiona uh, kuna element ya utaifa bendera lakini pia nchi ipo Uh, uta, utaiona na na hiki ni kitambulisho rahisi uh, kwa watu ndani ya nchi lakini hata kwa nje ya nchi tunayo malengo mengi ya ya urithi festival kama unavyoyaona lakini sana sana lengo kubwa ni kujaribu kuleta product nyingine mpya kwa ajili ya, ya utalii eh, Tanzania uh, pia kuwafanya watu wathamini huu urithi wetu wa utamaduni eh, na kucherish na na, na kujifunza lakini pia na kuhifadhi. Yako malengo manane lakini makubwa ni hayo ni hiyo ya sema kwamba lazima tuhifadhi lakini lazima uh, urithi huu wa utamaduni sasa uwe idhaa kwa ajili ya ya utalii. Tumeshafanya maandalizi kwa muda mrefu sasa na na utaona kwamba ni tamasha hili litafanyika nchi nzima. Uh, linafanyika nchi nzima lakini kwa sasa uh, tunayo maeneo maalum ambayo wasili ameyasema uh, tutakuwa na wiki moja Dodoma uh, tangu tarehe moja mpaka tarehe nane mwezi wa, wa tisa uh, tutakuwa na wiki moja Zanzibar uh, tutakuwa na wiki moja ambayo itakuwa share ina Dar es Salaam na Mwanza na kilele eh, kitakuwa hapa uh, Arusha. Lakini pia yako maeneo uh, ambayo tumeangalia na waziri aliyasema sahihi kabisa. Uh, kwa mfano tunafikiria pale Karatu kwa sababu tunaiona Karatu ni gateway ya kuingia Ngorongoro na Serengeti. Uh, tutapenda tuwe na activities nyingi nyingi pale ili watalii wanapokwenda angalau waweze kusimama pale eh, na kuweza eh, ku, kuangalia. Eh, lengo letu ni kutangaza hili tamasha eh, hata kwa dunia nzima tunajiandaa kwenye digital media, social media eh, tutalipeleka na kwa kusaidiana na nyinyi wadau na ndio maana tuna, tunaleta taarifa kwenu eh, kwamba tu, tuliweze kutangaza hili hili tamasha nimeongelea nime hizo sherehe zitakavyofanyika na sarudia kwa hapo tena Kurisi festival haiwezi kufanikiwa bila engagement ya wadau kwa hiyo ni mambo gani ambayo tunategemea kutoka kwenu this is a partnership initiated us but we can't succeed without you guys so what we expect from you cha kwanza to sell this property is ready to go and um, secondly is to give information We will provide artworks, designs, lakini kwa kisho mba watali wanapata tarifa. Ya tatu, ni kutengeneza menu za imekula za asili. Because one of the things we would like to do, ni kwa kisho kwa mba, tunaanza kufanya vya kula vya kitanzania. Kuwa sehemu ya kivutio kikuu, chabwezi wa urithi. We have a lot of dishes, we all know. Kwa hiyo, tunategemea kwa mba kutengeneze menu, ziweze kuhuzo katika mwezi mwote. Na kutuwa saidia kuzipushi na kufanya ziwe ni menu mbazo tuwengi wanakula na kuzipenda. Hii tumeipa, a.k.a. tunaita mizosi ya kwetu. It's a Swahili slime that definitely is going to catch the market. Kingine kushirikiana na wakamati kutuwa maboresho. We've done, we've done, we've done, we've done, we've done, lakini pia, bado, we are open for suggestions how we move forward. Kingine ni kusaidia kutangaza, tutafanya kutangaza makubwa kabla na tumeanza tuna engage, tuna promotion kubwa inafanyika, lakini pia tunatambua kwamba tuna njia nzuri za kuweza kuwafikia wadau wengi na watalii. We hope you will do that.
Kingine ni kuuza na kuonyesha bidhaa. Kuna watu ambao wana bidhaa ya kuonyesha kwenye matamasha haya. It's a great opportunity to utilize. Lakini mwisho wa siku ni kwamba initiative ya Uhuru Festival ni win win win. Nyinyi kama wadau win nchi win watalii wapate zao nyingine more attractive kuweza kuja kuona na tuongeze namba ya siku za wao kukaa. Um, na upande wetu tutafanya nini? Tutahakikisha tunatangaza kwa nguvu kubwa kabla tumeshaanza wakati wa Ulithi Festival ule mwezi wenyewe lakini hadi baada na tutatumia matangazo ambayo tulirusha kile kingine above the line and below the line we mean matangazo ya radio matangazo ya TV na tumeanza tunawashukuru wakina Ruge ITV na more partners will come on board cha pili kwa sisi kuboreza vyanzo kwa mfano wasanii watatumika na kuna nyimbo nyingi mtaweza kuzisikia muda sio mrefu sana very attractive kwenye hizi events na kwa very attractive kwa tunamini wasanii watapata opportunity ya kujulikana lakini pia kuuza utamaduni wetu lakini cha pili uchumi tunategemea kwamba Ulithi Festival itafungua fursa pana zaidi za kiuchumi pia nyingine ni kufitio kuanza kukuza vivutio na kufanya sasa utamaduni wetu na urithi kuwa ni kivutio kikubwa cha utalii sana na utamaduni lakini kwa ndama onyesho yametajwa kwenye ugani ambao tutayataja na tunaamini kabisa kutokuwa kuna vibe kubwa kwenye maeneo haya bila nyinyi watalii hawawezi wakajua maoneo ya shauri yanayofanyika tunaamini wa partnership ni very important na tutafanya lakini tutatoa fursa urithi ina eneo la mavazi tunategemea tusukume mavazi sana na tunaamini kabisa hata ile wazo la kuanzisha vazi la taifa linaweza likatelezwa vizuri sana na urithi na hivi tutaifanya chakula nimezungumzia mila simulizi Tanzania na simulizi nyingi sana tales za Tanzania zitatoka sana katika kipindi hiki cha urithi sisi kama jamii ya watu ambao tunapeleka tuna taarifa kwa kutumia kuongea tuna urithi mkubwa sana kwenye hadithi nyingi za kitanzania ambazo natakiwa dirishwe na vizazi na vizazi na ni kuwa tourism property as well <coughs> lakini kingine ni kutengeneza bidhaa ya utalii ili ndio lengo kubwa moja wapo lakini kingine kuanzisha fursa pana kwa ajili ya wadau pamoja na tourism sector kwa ujumla wake lakini pia kuendeleza kufanya Tanzania yaanze kuwa nchi tofauti kwenye uzaji wa utalii wake kulinganisha na nchi nyingine. Kwa Afrika Mashariki sisi ndio tutakuwa kwanza kuwa na tamasha kama hii. Tunaamini kabisa itaendelea kutupa leverage kubwa zaidi tunapokusukuma utalii. Lakini kingine ni ajira. Tunaamini kabisa itatoa fursa pana zaidi kwa wa Tanzania na vijana wengi zaidi kuona utalii unaweza kuwasaidia pia kujenga na shukuru sana kwa kusikiliza tunaamini kabisa kwamba nyinyi stakeholders na sisi tutaweza kuleta tofauti sana kwenye tamasha la urithi a uh, tunaouza na uzuri ni kwamba kama ni wasama ni historia kwa sababu Tanzania katika kanda hii itakuwa ni kwanza kuwa na tamasha kama hili uh, kwa hiyo tunategemea uh, wadau wanachangamkia hiyo au wadau wa kanda mbalimbali baada ya baada hizo mbili Uh, kabla ya kujiendelea natakiwa nifuate ni maoni kama kuna maswali mbalimbali wataalamu hapo nimeweza kamati na ujumbe kamati na msafu uh, kwa ajili ya kusikia uh, yapi kwa maoni yapi ya uh, kuongezea uh, labda kuna eneo lijia sikiliza vizuri eh, wataalamu hapo tunaweza tukatoa majibu lakini kabla sijafanya hivyo eh, natambua kwa kuna waheshimiwa ambao wameungana nasi uh, wakati tunaendelea na mada uh, nitamwomba tena anahusika na utambulisho Uh, when you, 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 uh,